Uh, is this that from global warming? Or why is it mainly, from mainly. The, yeah. uh, this Pasochoa, as you can mm -hmm. see, like Yellowstone, it has a collapsed area. Okay. Most of the volcanoes here have this. Cinchilago, we're going to see also, I guess, also on the side. And this is a little bit the, uh, the eruptive events of, uh, of, the, uh, of historic time. And before that, we have, in fact, uh, 19 big events in the last 2,200 years. Uh, we have even uh, historic uh, drawings about this. About this, I told you already. Uh, this is uh, uh, towards us, towards the north. Uh, this is the northern uh, uh, basin, as we say. This is Cotopaxi, and here the volcanoes towards the north. And this is how the Lahasa, the volcanic mud flows, are going to behave. They're going to get together. And if we have more than 25 million cubic meters, then it's going to get into the rivers, in two of them, and or natural drainages, as you want to call it like this. And they're going to get like this. And uh, this is uh, a city, as I was telling you, which is going to be hit in 30 minutes. These are the actual houses and the blocks and everything. And this is only... Uh, reconstructing the last uh, uh, event, which was on the 26th of June, mm -hmm. oh, yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. in 1877. What about the one in 1942? Was that not? It was just uh, explosions. Okay. No La Haas. Yeah. Yeah, la we talk about big events in La Haas. In, in, in that month, where is the shopping mall? <laughs> the shopping mall is exactly here. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. and we should see. drive through there, in fact, yeah. and see uh, uh, things like this. <laughs> on the way back. On the way back, I think it's better. Do you have an idea of what we are talking about? This is an actual picture. This two on the side of this rivers. And this two. Now, of this we made a modelization. Okay, we took this. Here it is. And look now, uh, a normal aha. There are three different scenarios. The frequent, the moderate, and the strong one. We're talking now about the frequent, the smallest one. Okay. This is the aha where it's kept to. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody will say, in a pessimistic way, everybody's going to die. No, I say, no, no, no. Some birds are going to survive. That's it. <laughs> Some <laughs> birds. This is for the north. This is for the south. To the south, it uh, has a, a, a big extension. Also to the city of uh, La Tacunga, here's a volcano. This is an, a textile um, uh, um, um, factory which was covered by Laha, and now it's a symbol of the last destruction there. Mm. And people on the side, even below that, have built bridges and hospitals and houses and whatever, and schools. They simply didn't get it. And about this we can talk also a lot, but uh, you may see this. We filmed this also in the documentary I have here for you. So you may pass it through. Just go anywhere, and I will give you already some. This is to the south. This is uh, the infrastructure. So this is hopeless to survive. And people... Once again, they, they don't get it. Now, we have a government now where the president is a friend of mine, a personal friend of mine, ex-colleague of mine, and uh, I, I hope I have ten here. I just took some. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The rest I'm going to give you uh, on the way back, okay? Uh, it's in Spanish, but still. So, things like this are going to happen, and to the east as well. The most important infrastructure in the east, in the Amazonian lowland, are bridges. And they are also hopeless to survive. And these communities as well. So this is going to happen, I told you. And this oh. from Mount St. Helens. And it's going to cover the whole country with ash. And uh, for some weeks and months, we're gonna, we are not going to be able to use the, uh, the airports. And people think, no, the lava is not going to melt that much. In fact, it's true. It's more likely the uh, uh, paraplastic flows. Uh, something else which can happen is of course a lateral explosion. Here are taking the model of uh, Mount St. Helens for Cotopaxi. And there's a picture of, of uh, Mount St. Helens. Mm. And this happened twice before. We have had lateral collapses of Cotopaxi twice before. In 4,600 years ago and 2,200 years ago. 2,300 years ago. And here is my university, exactly here. Mm. So something has to be done. Paraclassic flows, like in 2006 in Tumburawa, are also very common. We're going to see some today. And this area of Tumburawa have been covered completely by paraclassic flows, and six people died. And this is a picture I took in 98 or 99. Uh, here's my wife. And these are birds, these are symbols in the entrance of the city of Banyos, which are the foothill of there. And this is after the paraclassic flow. Okay. And these are the minor paraclassic flows. There are other areas with much more. 
And uh, this paraclysic flows can provoke, of course, in the case of cotopaxi, La Haas. This is, uh, this is a picture from the USGS, uh, from Armero, from uh, the city which was covered by uh, the La Haas of uh, Nevada Ruiz in 1985, after warnings. And this, you know, this is the city of Armero. 25,000 people died. This was a bank. And Cotopaxi, well, it's active. You can see here the fumaroles. Here also. We have even phreatic explosions since the reactivation by the end of 2001 until today. Here's the uh, phreatic explosion. And the ashes will uh, be distributed uh, uh, towards the west and southwest mainly. And we can do many things about this. Uh,